Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Chen Zhang from National Taiwan University. Thanks for attending today. And the subject of my presentation is a uh, bit with detection and tracking approach for gate evaluation. And my advisor is Dr. Yuan Chu Ko. This is my outline, and let me get through some introduction. Um, as an island with an vibrant agricultural history, Taiwan holds a significant place in global pig farming, and the uh, industry has an important influence on the economy, which is providing a steady supply of pork in our dietary habits. And the pie chart illustrates the production value percentage livestock in Taiwan, we can see that pigs accounts for 41% of this category. And its value has reached 27 billion US dollars in 2022. So we can see it's, a, it's the biggest part in Taiwan's livestock. But like any husbandry, pig farming faces challenges. One of the main issues that they confront is lameness which is the condition of being unable to walk well because of the injury to the legs or foot. Uh, Lemmings in pigs can dramatically impact their welfare and uh, productivity. It causes suffering and uh, stress in the affected pigs, uh, reducing their feed intake, growth rates, and overall well-being. <coughs> so consequently, it can decrease the financial return for farmers having a profound effect on the whole industry. In the past, we relied on visual inspection and palpation, observing changes in pig's walk and posture. But uh, experienced farmers often notice subtle signs like uneven walking and reluctant to move. So uh, this process is really insightful, but the process is really Subjective and time consuming. So, mm, the, and uh, moreover, although the relatively objective measurement analysis method has been derived, the high cost and uh, low popularity has made it difficult to be considered as a feasible compromise. So, developing more standardized and low cost methods is essential. Here's my objective. And I want to develop a key point tracking model and use the model to detect the static stepping points to calculate the work information. And then ultimately, we can replace the pressure map analysis method. And let's talk about the method. Here's, my, the, here's the system pipeline of my research. I record the working, working video and then use it and use LEAP, a deep learning framework. I do the walking information analysis in it and compare it to the pressure map raw data. If the system doesn't work well, I will opti opt optimize my deep point tracking models and get a better result. Um, but if the result is good enough, so it can be used to evaluate the gait of it precisely. I record the uh, videos of pig walkings in a pig farm in the Lincoln district of New Taipei City here. And uh, steel wire fences on both sides of pig walking path are installed, ensuring the consistency in the direction of the pig walking. We can see since pig moved quickly through the fences to avoid motion blur. I chose to record the video at a shutter speed of 1 over 800 seconds 
instead of 1 over 60 seconds. We can see frames capture with a 1 over 60 seconds frame like this have a significant blur in the image, so which is not desirable for model training. And in the labeling process, the pig foot can be divided into four classes, just like the picture. And I use the heel of the pigs as the uniform standard of the labeling. Here my data set. My data set consists of 10 videos and with uh, over 3,000 frames in total. I, I use the data augmentation uh, which include uh, horizontal fluid brightness and contrast. And here are my training details. For the model evaluation, object key point similarity or OKX is used. Uh, OKX measures the precision of the predicted key points in the object, considering the object scale and key point visibility. Um, it is more effective for real world scenarios, especially in tracking with uh, different object size and uh, postures. OKS MAP interprets the OKS into MAP metrics, commonly used in object detection and depends in relevance for model training. By the way, I want to introduce the terminology of the walking information. We can look at this picture. Uh, swing refers to the, uh, the heel taking off from the ground, and the next time the same heel strike the ground. And the stance is opposite. opposite. The, the heel is the interval the heel takes off from the ground. And by adding these two processes into a strike, we can get strike is a period of one step. So in my research, I want to focus on stride length, stride time, and stance times, which are crucial to the evaluation. And here are my results. Uh, the model performance feature, uh, the visibility precision reached 95%, and the OKS MAP is 0.53, and the average localization error is about 99.6 pixel. The box plot depicts the error situation of each different foot. So we can get we can get a clear understanding of the T point location. So we can get this plot can be divided into two parts. The upper parts depict the x direction of the plot of the T point tracking results and versus the frames in the video and the y the lower part is the y direction. So we can see this point refers to the timing when the heel uh, taking off from the ground, and uh, this point are the heel just keep striking on the ground. And I, with this information, we can get uh, we can calculate and get the average drive time and the average stance time. And next, the trash plot. It shows the spatial distribution uh, of the key point tracking. As the plot shows, the V shape placed like this uh, refers to the steps, and the lowest part of V, the lowest part of the V is the stepping point. And get the stepping point, we can get the average drop length, and finally acquiring the uh, needed information. Besides, I adopt the uh, lens standard developed by the collaboration of a U.S. company like uh, called TechSpin and the Department of Animal Science in the National Terran University. This standard, known as the Asymmetry Index, are take the length severity of the lens into three levels, like severe, mild, and symmetry, normal symmetry. And I want to I want to use the stride length, stride length, to take into the 
these two categories. So we can we can correctly evaluate the model performance. Next, after we after we got all the information and the lambda standard, the accuracy between the the method and the pressure map analysis is crucial. And the MAE of my of my method and the pressure map are for four point five percent, five point six percent, and eleven point two eight percent. And finally, if the above analysis are correct and good enough, it becomes a lambda detection system. Which can we can precisely categorize the lens and uh, easily realize the condition of the gates. And here are my conclusion: I develop a input detection model and check in the uh, key points of it, and and finally I can evaluate the the gates of the gate of it precisely. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for your presentation. Let me move on to the discussion. Uh, are there any questions or comments from Modi?
was it a three month or four month? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. Uh, if the case is not, not that heavy, it is not always okay, but if you have a case like uh, 100 kilometers per kilogram, then it, it might be too heavy to, to work on the brain yeah, because the machine will work up because of the heavy weight. Thank you. Thank you.